we want to use Newton's method to approximate a root or a zero of the equation three x to the seventh plus eight x to the fourth plus two equals zero. We want to let x sub one equal three be the initial approximation. The formula for Newton's method for approximating zeros of a function is given here below. We can derive this by determining the x-intercept or zero of the equation of a tangent line. The first thing we need to recognize is that this formula is used for finding zeros of functions and we're given an equation. But notice how this polynomial equation is equal to zero, which means for our formula f of x will be equal to three x to the seventh plus eight x to the fourth plus two. Notice to find a zero of this function, we would set f of x equal to zero and solve for x, which would give us the initial equation. But notice how Newton's method also calls for the derivative, or f prime of x. So let's also find that now. f prime of x is equal to the derivative of three x to the seventh, that'd be twenty-one x to the sixth, plus the derivative of eight x to the fourth, that'd be thirty-two x to the third, and the derivative of two would be zero. So let's take these two functions to the next slide with our initial approximation and find the second and third approximations. Again, we're given that x sub one equals three, so now we want to find the second approximation, or x sub two. Notice in our formula here, if we want x sub two, n is equal to one, since one plus one is two. So completing the formula, we would have x sub two equals x sub one minus f of x sub one divided by f prime of x sub one. And we know x sub one is three, which means this is equal to three minus f of three divided by f prime of three. If we're required to show this work by hand, we would have three minus the quotient where the numerator is f of three, which would be three times three to the seventh plus eight times three to the fourth plus two, divided by f prime of three, which would be twenty-one times three to the sixth, plus thirty-two times three to the third. But I'll also show how I can use a graphing calculator to determine this value. The first thing we'll do is enter f of x in y sub one and f prime of x in y sub two. So we'll press y equals, type in f of x, three x to the seventh, plus eight x to the fourth, plus two, enter. Y sub two will be f prime of x, twenty-one x to the sixth, plus thirty-two x to the third. And now we'll go back to the home screen. To determine our second approximation, we'll just enter three minus y sub one of three, divided by y sub two of three. So we'll have three minus, to access y sub one we press vars, right arrow, enter, enter, then in parentheses we want three as our input, divided by f prime of three, which will be y sub two of three, so we press vars, right arrow, enter, arrow down to two, enter, and in parentheses, enter three. And then enter one more time. So our second approximation to four decimal places would be 2.5541. If we did this by hand, of course we get the same approximation. Now we'll find x sub three, the third approximation. Notice for x sub three, n would be two since two plus one equals three. So x sub three equals x sub two minus f of x sub two divided by f prime of x sub two, which in our case x sub two is 2.5541, so we have 2.5541 minus f of 2.5541 divided by f prime of 2.5541. For x sub three, you can see why it would be helpful to use a calculator to find f of 2.5541, performing substitution into function f would be pretty messy, 
as well as for f prime of 2.5541. So for this example, I'm going to go straight to the calculator. So we'll have 2.5541 minus f of 2.5541, that's y sub one of the input, divided by f prime of 2.5541, which would be y sub two. So vars, right arrow, enter, enter, the input is 2.5541 for f of x, divided by y sub two of the input. So vars, right arrow, enter, select y sub two by pressing two, and then the input is 2.5541. Close parenthesis and enter. So our third approximation in four decimal places, notice how we have an eight in the fifth decimal place, so we round up, and since we have a nine here, it's going to be approximately 2.1660. So now we have our second and third approximations. I hope you found this helpful.